Good girl. Hello, yoga lovelies. Welcome to Adopt a Yoga Assistant. My name's Fiona, and I'm the fearless leader of the Yoga Lovelies Club. And this is a very special series featuring guest yoga assistants who are in need of loving home. Today, we're at Pasadena Humane, and we have with us the very precious, very sweet Shania. She's around two years old. They think she's a pit bull boxer mix, but you could perhaps guess for yourself, who knows? Um, very sweet disposition. We've just been to the park and um, she was great on the leash. We met a bunch of teenagers who wanted to cuddle with her and she was wagging her tail. So good with people, good with kids, and just very, very sweet. So Shania is gonna help us get through yoga and we're going to help her find a loving home. So grab your stretchy pants and let's get started. Good girl. There you go. You lick the lens. Sit. Good girl. So we're going to start in a comfortable seated position. So you can sit up on a block like I'm doing, <laughs> or you can sit on a blanket. You can even sit on a chair if uh, that's just more comfortable for your back. So come to a seated position, let your eyes close, and do your best to sit up nice and tall, relaxing your shoulders. And just in these first few moments now, as you bring your awareness into your body, see if you can cultivate a slightly heavier feeling in your pelvis, a slightly lighter feeling in your head, and just relax the tops of your shoulders. And then begin to gently slow down your breath pattern Inhales and exhales. And just by bringing awareness to your breath, perhaps noticing if it's a little bit short, feels a little stuck, that's very normal. When we're running around, breath gets stuck up in the chest area. So I want you to think of breathing down into your waist area. So as you inhale, think of the circumference of your waist expanding, front, back, and sides. And as you exhale, you just feel your waist gently narrowing. Good. Just like that. Inhaling, the waist expands. Exhale, the waist narrows. So just take a couple of deep breaths, inhaling, feeling that expansion in the waist. Exhaling, feeling it narrowing. Inhaling, you can even put your hands on kind of the sides of your ribs and feel the expansion of the in-breath going a little further down towards your lower ribs, front, back, and sides. And as you exhale, again, that gentle narrowing in of the rib cage. A couple more like that, all the while thinking of your pelvis getting a little heavier your head getting a little lighter, and just checking in that your shoulders remain soft. Notice when your mind wanders off, just gently bring yourself back to your breath for a couple more breath cycles. One more nice deep inhale. And as you exhale, placing your palms together at your chest, gently bowing your head in towards your center. 
and letting your eyes open softly. So from here, let's do a couple of arm circles just to warm up the shoulders. So inhale, nice sweepy circle to the top touch. Exhale again, you could be sitting in a chair, that would be absolutely fine, sit however you wish. And again, inhale, reach nice and wide, palms touch, exhale, wide, 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 back to the chest. Let's do about three more, inhaling. So you notice by spreading your fingers and reaching a little more with intention, you get a bit more of a stretchy feeling through your biceps and your chest. Two more, and of course, coordinating breath and movement, inhaling up, exhaling is getting the breath moving. One more time, inhaling, sweeping your arms up, palms touch, look up, exhale, reach wide, back to the chest. Now again, this will work if you're cross-legged or if you're kneeling or in a chair. Pelvic tilts, always a good time for a pelvic tilt. So putting your hands on your knees, inhale, arching your spine wherever you are, Exhale, rounding back, feeling that nice opening of your lower back. Inhale, tilting the pelvis forward, lift the chest, draw the shoulders back. Exhale, rounding your hips back, and you can feel now your spine kind of opening behind you. Couple more, inhale. So the pelvic bowl kind of tips towards the pubic bone. As the chest lifts, look up. Exhale, now the opposite, you kind of tip towards your tailbone as you round out, feel even that stretch through your shoulder blades. One more time, inhaling, arching your spine, exhale, rounding gently. Then come back up to upright, roll your shoulders back and down. Let's move into some neck stretches. So inhaling, starting to look up, gently stretching the throat. Exhale, letting your chin drop forward, feel the back of the neck stretching open. And again, inhaling, lifting your chin, feeling the throat stretching gently. Exhaling, as you drop that chin, feel the back of the neck, relax those shoulders. Couple more, inhale. So not cranking it, going nice and gently and slowly into this movement. Exhale, just kind of exploring your range of motion for this moment. One more time. Inhaling, looking up, gentle stretch of the throat. Exhaling, letting your chin topple forward. Feel the back of the neck and just let your head hang forward for a moment, sitting up nice and tall, relaxing your shoulders and just let the back of your neck soften simply by letting your uh, skull kind of drop forward into gravity. Take a deep inhale, melt a little more the back of your neck as you exhale and then slowly picking up your head. Let's go into a side bend for the neck now. So right here towards the right shoulder. And as you sit nice and tall, you're not pushing your head over. We don't care how close your ear is to your shoulder. As you take your head over, I'm mirror mirroring you, obviously. Try and relax your left shoulder down and feel the left side of the neck gently stretching. And then slowly, if it's hard for you to come back up, you can just put a finger on the temple. Gently come back up. Take a breath over to the other side, letting your head tip to the left. Try to now think about relaxing your right shoulder down so you feel that right side of the neck begin to soften. Spine remains tall, both shoulders dropping, but especially the right one. And then come back up to center. Let's do one more on each side. Take a breath, exhale, right ear tips to the right shoulder. Grow tall through your spine. Again, soften both shoulders. Let's think now of the left ear trying to listen to the ceiling. And imagine a weight dangling from your left elbow tip. And just see if you can sprinkle a little bit of softness in the left side of your neck. And then slowly coming up over to the other side. So tipping your left ear over now. Try and feel the right side of the neck. It'll initially kind of grip. So think of the right ear trying to listen to the ceiling. And the right shoulder just melting off your frame, giving it a moment. So it's a bit of mind over matter. Putting your mind in the matter of your neck, tight neck, which we all have. See if you can let it melt a bit more. And then slowly coming back up. Now a gentle twist for the neck. So you're gonna to start to turn to look over your right shoulder and draw your left shoulder back in opposition. And you can feel when you do that, there's a gentle twist of the neck. So we're not turning the shoulders, that would be a spinal twist. As we draw the left shoulder back and look over our right shoulder, 
we can see our cheeky little yoga assistant having fun with the blanket. Feel that gentle neck stretch. And then slowly come through the center, take a breath. Exhale, look over the left shoulder, draw that right shoulder back in opposition and feel now gently you're easing into it, never pushing or forcing, but just exploring your natural kind of range of motion. One more on each side. Inhale through the center. Exhale, looking over the right. <laughs> She's got one of my socks. Looking over to the right, draw your left shoulder back and down. Shania is not only my yoga assistant, but cleaning up my socks that happen to have been just thrown on the floor over there. So she's brought them into the picture, which is good. Take a breath, exhale, gently rotate, maybe another little millimeter, don't force it. Inhaling through the center, exhaling, looking over the left shoulder, draw that right shoulder back and down. Make it very gentle. Hold for a breath and then exhale, try and soften a little more into this as you look over the left shoulder. Back to center. One more on each side. Take a breath, exhale, looking to the right, draw the left shoulder back and down. Inhale through the center, over to the left, Draw the right shoulder back and down. Just finding a spot that's manageable for you. And then come back to center. And now dropping your chin forward. So we're going to do some um, neck rolls, just two in each direction, very, very gently. So sit up tall, relax your shoulders, drop your chin forward, and just start to rotate your um, chin to the right, and then up and around slowly slowly just tracing kind of imagine a paintbrush coming out of the point of your chin and as you arc up and around any range of motion it could be really small you feel this kind of neck stretching some tight spots let's do one more to the right so think again paintbrush coming out at the end of your chin very slow motion as you go up and around just to ease your way through the sticky spots we've all got them And then let your chin hang back onto your chest, to the other side, so rotating to the left, bringing your chin up and around, gently, slowly, without forcing, keeping your face relaxed. And then letting your chin hang forward, picking up your head, roll your shoulders back and down. So putting your hands on your shoulders now, you're gonna just take your elbows in nice big circles for your shoulder joints and just feeling that kind of daylight flooding into your shoulder sockets. And then inhale, sweep your arms up, palms touch. Exhale, down the center. Let's go into a little side bend. So just doing a little seated practice today for our yoga assistant series. Over to the right we go, push down into the left side of your bum. As you reach up and out of the waist, palm rolls down, ribs roll up, dropping that sh those shoulders out of your ears. Inhale, come through the center, over to the other side, gently opening up the side body, pressing a little more into the right side of your bum as you reach through that top arm, dropping those shoulders. Inhale, one more on each side, coming through the center, exhaling over. Last one. Inhaling, just opening up those side waist muscles that get kind of clamped shut all day when we're sitting at our desks or driving. And then inhale, coming up to the top, interlace your fingers, push the ceiling away, take a nice deep breath. And as you exhale now, create a fist with your hands and roll your pelvis back as you reach forward through that fist at chest height. And again, inhaling, reaching up. Good girl. Exhale, rounding out, getting a little lick from your yoga assistant. Inhaling, reaching back up. Exhale, roll the pelvis back, reach that fist forward. <laughs> to remember to hide my socks. Inhaling up and exhaling one more time. Feel that nice opening between the shoulder blades. 
Inhaling back up to the top. Exhale, big wide circle to the chest. And then releasing your hands, extending your legs forward, and just point and flex your feet. Take a little um, rotation for your ankle joints. And then let's come to lying down on our backs. Just a nice little seated kind of stretching of the spine, a little bit of neck movement. And now you're just going to come to lying down on your back and hug your knees into your chest. And as you do that, just rocking a little side to side, feeling that gentle stretch on your lower back. And then just setting your feet on the floor, cross your right foot over your... Uh, <laughs> let's reset, shall we? <laughs> Her yoga assistant was having all sorts of fun with our little set. So she's now got a greenie. Cross your right foot over your left thigh, flexing your foot now. I want you to feel a nice stretch in the right hip as you gently pull your left thigh in towards you. Just take a couple of deep breaths. And then set your feet back on the floor. Other side, left foot across, flexing your left foot, and then pulling your right thigh gently in. Feel that stretch in the left hip. Just holding for a couple of breaths. Make sure there's no knee pain. You want to feel this in the kind of outer part of the bum cheek there, your glutes. And then setting your feet down on the floor, take your feet as wide as your mat, arms out to the side, and just flop your knees to the right, look to the left. Come through the center, over to the other side. One more on each side. Lovely windshield wipers to relax your hips and your lower back. Last one. Through the center, squaring off your feet, over to the left. And then come back to the center, hug your knees into your chest one more time. And then set your feet on the floor and just place your palms on your lower belly and take a nice deep inhale into your lower belly, belly breathing. And as you exhale, let your belly fall back towards the floor. And again, inhaling, belly rises. Exhaling, feel that belly soften towards the floor. Do a couple more by yourself. So just kind of noticing that the breath-related sensations are indeed portable. So when we were sitting at the beginning, we were doing more of that kind of um, accordion waist breathing. So when you're sitting upright, there's a little bit of abdominal work to hold us. That's why you do waist breathing. In this case, when you're lying on your back and in bed if you can't sleep, a great time to do it. When you're completely relaxed on your back is a time for belly breathing. So take another round or two by yourself enjoying that lovely rise and fall of the belly bringing your mind back into your breath when you find that you've wandered off one more nice deep inhale exhaling it out and now from here you're going to just extend one leg at a time into a comfortable position for your final relaxation. So it's just a quick yoga break today with our lovely yoga assistant, Shania. And notice how you feel now as you move into this final relaxation, just for a few moments. You can move your head a little side to side. That can feel really nice. And just gradually begin to settle into stillness. And as you start to feel your body getting heavier and heavier, just kind of noticing any little pockets of tension where you might be holding on. See if you can let your arms and legs become like dead weights on the floor. Soften around your forehead and your scalp. Around your eyes, your cheeks the muscles around your mouth. Soften through your jaw. Just kind of noticing if you have tension in the face, try and kind of stretch your face out. That can feel so nice. 
And once the face is soft, quite often the body will follow. So just let your face relax completely. See if now you can become even heavier on the floor as you continue to drop in to this final practice of letting go completely. Shavasana. Gradually start to become aware of your breathing again. Just as you're lying there, starting to wake yourself up now, taking some deeper breaths. Moving your fingers and your toes, perhaps stretching your arms, take a nice full body stretch. Good girl. And then gently Rolling onto your side and just stay on your side for a moment. And find your way up to a comfortable seated position now just for the last couple of moments. Sitting up nice and tall, relaxing your shoulders. Good girl. And just taking a moment to notice how you feel compared to when you sat at the beginning. Just a few minutes ago, we started after those few movements you've just done. And then bringing your palms together at your chest. Inhaling, sweeping your arms up to the top. Palms touch. Exhale, bring that to your forehead, to your heart, and bow your head. Namaste. Come here. Good girl. Thank you so much. Yay, yoga lovelies. Yay, Shania. Good girl. Thank you so much for joining. If you would like to adopt Shania, gorgeous, gorgeous girl with puppy energy, a lot of fun, as I said, loves people, loves kids, um, please go to www.pasadenahumane.org and fill out an application or just spread the word um, so we can help her find a loving home gorgeous, gorgeous girl. And if you'd like to do more online yoga with me, you can go to www.yogaloveliesclub.com and I'll keep you posted. Let's find this girl a home. Thank you again for joining. <laughs>